blood, I guess, because I grew up with it. And it's just, you know, the, the whole feel. And also, of course, the most important thing, the sound. Uh, but also the feel of, it's a piece of art. The design of the cover and the smell of it. It just smells wonderful, especially, I mean, old used records. It's like old instruments as well. It's something about the, the history. That I really, I mean, it turns me on. The, the sound, it's, it sounds so... Uh, <coughs> well, I, I know that, uh, I mean, you have more information, uh, digital and uh, on, on, on a CD disc. But uh, it, it sounds very plastic on, on both CDs and MP3. You have a much more organic sound uh, on, on the vinyl. Much more, uh, yeah, it's analog, so it's a... I know that there are actually frequencies uh, in the music that are not present on the vinyl, but I mean, it's still got a much warmer sound. And we grew up with, up with vinyls, and we uh, we would buy a vinyl and we would like close the door for two days and uh, you know look at the cover, look at the lyrics, the credits, everything. So the, the whole package. Or as a CD, you just pop it in your burner and burn it. Or an MP3, you just download it. Uh, there's so much attention to detail and care throughout every step of the the manufacturing process with vinyl. I think that's why people are coming back around to it and starting to collect it because a lot of effort, more so than than any other kind of product, I think there's, there's a lot of care and, and attention and, and people want that in something that they're paying for from an artist that they respect. Sometimes there's like, I guess the tiny imperfections you hear, the scratches, the pops, the sort of, I guess from like, a good setup with like a tube amplifier, it sounds a lot warmer and there's a lot more like defined. The low like, end is a lot tighter. Yeah, low end to the sound. And I also like having it physically in your hands is cool. You get a, a bigger piece of artwork to, you know, have and have and collect. It's fucking cool. Like I've just got the um, Monolith of Inhumanity by Cattle, Decap Cattle Decapitation. Nah, got that on vinyl. It's fucking pretty cool. When you couldn't stream stuff, you really had to save your weekly allowance for a long time to be able to buy yeah. this piece of plastic that uh, that meant so much to you. So it's, uh, I mean, it's everything. Well, the sound, obviously, the artwork, just to hold it, uh, smell it, everything about it. That's just, you can't really compare it to listening to uh, stuff digitally. As a, as a kid, you know, it's like your dream was to have a record. I mean, that's what it was. It was a, have a record deal, or have a, you know, release a record, you know, record a record, you know. And of course, when we came to CDs, it all seemed a bit disappointing when, when everything came out on the, on CD. Um, I mean, Nuclear Blast have uh, reissued all the, the Threshold albums. And, and, um, and to, to listen to them on vinyl, you get the full depth of the recording. It's, it's amazing how it, it seems like it's 3D, whereas when uh, with uh, um, the CDs, MP3s and things, it, it seems to to squash them to a, um, 2D. It doesn't seem, it has, it has not the depth of a record. So, I mean, I love a record. I love holding a record. Listen, folks, this is the sound click of me buying a song. Now, that's okay and that's fine because it's right there instantly in my computer and I can listen to it. But it doesn't feel as good as getting a piece of vinyl with 11 or 12 songs on it and some brilliantly covered artwork all over the cover, reading the sleeve notes, reading who wrote what and who played and what, reading the thank you list, reading all the lyrics and holding it physically and then getting that warm piece of plastic putting it on a turntable and physically getting up out of your chair. I know it takes a lot of effort, but you can do it and lifting the needle over and putting it on the first track and feeling the warmth, the clarity and the depth and the realness of the sound from a real record. I know it's ancient. I know it's a scary thing to do. Try it. You'll like it. And in the meantime, you can still keep going click, click in the side, but buy some vinyl as well and come over to the old side because it is still the best side. Nice. I agree with him.